Walsh University's global learning program stems from Brother Francis Bluen's example. Anchored in faith, hope, and love, we strive to carry out his legacy in the pursuit of serving others. 73. This is the number of people that will have died from hunger alone by the end of this video. The Bloom Global Scholars are a living learning community. We come together to learn um, about food and sustainable um, agriculture and global hunger. Um, through our individuality and our different majors, we're able to come together and form um, a bigger whole um, that's willing to um, serve others and to impact the world. Our mission is to become leaders in service with a global perspective. Rooted in the belief of the dignity of all persons and the community of mankind, we seek to bring our time, talents, and energies to healing the problems of suffering and injustice within the world. I'm a Bloom Scholar because I want to better diversify myself and to gain a better understanding of the world as a whole and global service because that's what our university is all about. And taking that from the Walsh community go to the local community and then taking it worldwide as well. I'm a balloon global scholar because as a nurse there's a specific group of people that I get to work with but being a balloon allows me to experience different cultures and different diversities which will make me a better nurse. One of the coolest parts about this program is that the scholarships cover um, both your study abroad trips. So in December 2013 we had the awesome opportunity travel to Tanzania. Are you excited? <laughs> yes. Why? I've never been to Africa before. Alright, so one of the most impactful experiences for me on this trip so far has been the Kabosho Seminary. Um, while we were there, we got to have a forum with the students and we were up on stage and it's a little intimidating but um, they got to give us some of their misconceptions about America and we got to hear t about Tanzania from Tanzanians and that was really what we came here to learn about and it was really just um, emphasized everything we didn't know and one of the seminary students stood up and said what Africa really needs is love and that really stuck with all of us I think. This is the traditional traditional coffee, which is not resistant to CBD or defrost. One thing that I think that I can take away from this trip is that not everything is as it seems. Um, it seems really a simple statement, kind of silly to think about, but I think you can learn about something in a book. You can watch a movie, you can talk to someone in an email, but until you sit down over tea, you talk to someone and you really listen to their struggles, their challenges, and I mean their projects and what they've accomplished, you don't really know what's going on. I think coming here and seeing the people and talking to them and just listening to them has been so invaluable. Africa in one word. Say vibrant. Unreal. Giving. Inspirational. Humility. Faith. Hope. Love. Life changing. And we just got to interact with them and ask them questions about what they're doing and what their mission is. And it was really neat to hear them because even though they go through things like not having enough water, not being able to preserve their water, or not having the technology that they need, they're still making advances every day.